Hey everybody, it's Robin here at The Full Circle. We're going to talk about yoga for evening peace right now because I think it's going to be really helpful to create an evening routine where you can unwind and truly enter into a deeper sleep than you might without uh, an evening or bedtime routine. So, so often, tell me this is if this is you, so often what I do is I put my kids to bed and sometimes they, they're not in bed till about eight o'clock and then I need to be in bed by 9.30 so I can get up early in the morning for my morning routine and I feel like the clock is ticking down on this like very um, valuable time in the, in the nighttime. I used to stay up all hours of the night just to try to have that like kid-free mom time. I would stay up till 11, 12, 1 o'clock but I would wake up feeling like a bag of Yes, shit, a <laughs> bag of crap. And I knew that it wasn't serving me anymore. So what I've had to be super diligent about is being in bed early and having an evening routine, even if it's five minutes, to just unwind. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. Like you can spend a lot of time if you have it, but I'm assuming you're kind of like me in the sense that you feel like there's not enough time in the night to get everything you want done. Kids lunches made, um, have some you time, have some spouse time, get caught up with some paperwork. The list goes on and we often feel very pressed for time in the evening. So I really encourage you, especially if you wake up feeling super crappy, you have to pull back your bedtime. And I know that it's so hard because you finally get some peace and quiet in the evening. Trust me, I know the feeling of, oh, you finally get some peace and quiet in the evening and then you have to go to bed and it really sucks. But this will set you up for a better morning. So right now, let's get into some tactics you can use to actually feel like you can fall asleep faster and fall asleep easier and just have some downtime, unwind time because you've been busy all day. And when you're busy all day, you, we actually train our nervous systems to be wired all the time. We're going all the time. We're on our phones all the time. We're on the internet all the time. And there's really no sacred time left in our day where we truly have to shut things off and do something other than what we've been doing all day, exposed to all the stimulus and exposed to all the internet stuff. It's time to create a sacred evening routine or ritual or whatever word you wanna call it so that you can have this regular time to give back to yourself. So a couple things that I do, and I, I'm not gonna pretend like I do this every night because I don't. I'm totally gonna to be honest with you. There are nights where I do run to bed, like do this, do this, do this, and I run into bed. But you know what? Those are the nights where I feel the worst. The nights that I try to, oh, I don't need my evening routine. I don't have time. Well, those are the nights that I lay there wide awake, staring at the ceiling or trying like restlessly to get to sleep. So trust me, from experience, it is best if you can be consistent with this, doing it even for five minutes on a night. You'll notice a difference, okay? So a couple things I do, and again, I'll say that you make it what you want. If you have five minutes, pare it down to five minutes and it will be better than nothing. If you have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I think an ideal time for me would be about 15 minutes, even though it doesn't seem like a lot of time, again, it's better than nothing. So for 15 minutes, I'm gonna do a couple things. I really like to put the lights down really low after the, well, even when my, as my kids are going to bed, everything is shut down, like shut off, because if the lights are shut off and everything else is shut off, they will get, this, get the hit that it's time to go to bed. And so we just keep it that way after they go to bed. The lights are down low, it's a very calming atmosphere, and I, I try to put my phone away for this time. Well, there's no doubt that during this 15 minutes, my phone is away, is actually just playing some soft music that I really enjoy. It gets me into that headspace of relaxation. So my phone is playing music, and sometimes I even have a timer going for a couple minutes of this and a couple minutes of that. So lights down low, shut your phone off onto like, I put it onto nighttime mode in the evening because People can still get a hold of me. So if they, if there is an emergency, if you call, if you, that person phones two times in a row, it will actually bypass the system and it will go through to your phone. But if it's not an emergency, then it, not, nothing will alert you. So shut off your alerts because you don't want to be jolted back into reality. I noticed you have a, 
an email sitting there that you don't actually need to check right now. So shutting everything down, shutting everything off, picking some music that will fit that 15 minute time span. I just have a playlist on Spotify that just kind of goes on shuffle and it just brings up some really lovely meditation type songs that I like to relax to. So tonight I, or today I've got three little yoga poses for you. But before I get to that, I always love to brain dump. So I have a, just a cheap notebook at home that I just love and especially especially helpful when you're feeling like your brain is going crazy. There's been no relief. You have been on the go for days, weeks, months, whatever, and you feel like you're going to go crazy. Do the brain dump and do the brain dump even before you're going to go crazy as maintenance. So every night, can you just write everything down that's in your brain? No rhyme or reason. Just write it all down, spew it onto the page, then be done with it. Put it away. It's on paper. You don't have to think about it anymore. I'm going to put a link to this other post that I did recently about gratitude. My gratitude, the free gratitude journal is what I use every night because it is two and a half minutes, two and a half minutes in the morning, two and a half minutes in the nighttime. That is it. It is built for people with full schedules because I know you don't have time to do a 15 minute gratitude entry every night. So the gratitude every night is evening appreciation. Write one thing about the best thing that happened today. So it's reflecting upon the good that happened. One thing I loved about myself today, what did I do well? Or what did I notice that I, I did differently? What brought a smile to my face? And I'm so grateful for these people. That is it. You can write a couple things in those boxes. You can write one and really focus in on the feeling that this creates. Don't just slap it down for the sake of getting it down on paper. Write it down. Take some deep breaths, notice a feeling of love, gratitude, and appreciation, and let that be your guiding light for your evening practice. So for the evening practice, we're gonna do legs up the wall and a forward fold. So I'm actually just gonna do two tonight because, or two today, because I feel that these pack a lot of punch into a short amount of time. So we're gonna do the forward fold. So you might want a bolster or a couch cushion. Your forward fold could be a butterfly, soles of the feet together. It could be straight legs or it could be a straddle with the feet apart. Doesn't really matter. I like butterfly. I don't know why. Just my preference. So soles of the feet together. Your feet are a little bit further away from you. Don't try to jam them into your body, but take them a little bit away from you and that will create like just a softness in your back. So with your bolster, I love these things. I use it all the time. It's such a great investment. You're going to fold it like just fold it in half and rest your body. You want to create space in the upper body to rest into so that you're not rigid and tense like you've been all day. You've probably been all day. So your forearms can rest down, then your head comes down. Now, if you're really tight, don't worry about it. You're just gonna sit, you're just gonna stay more upright and try to find some rest and relaxation in the upper body. So the legs, you're not gonna go for the deepest stretch. You're gonna be here for. I like to set my my timer on my phone for about two or three minutes, whatever I have time for. But bringing your forehead down and curling yourself in, closing your eyes is a very obvious sign to your body that it's time to unwind, that it's time to come inward and release all the outward distraction that, distractions that we've had coming at us all day. In this one, I like to breathe into the backside of my torso. So I'm going to take some really deep breaths with the intention of filling my entire back. So I'm going to feel the back of my lungs, the back of the rib cage expand as I inhale and deflate as I exhale. So you're going to hold that one for two to three minutes. Okay. Now I'm just going with it here. I have this idea that I wasn't planning for, but I'm going to throw it in for you. I love doing this one. So that is like a static stretch. It's more like a yin pose where you just rest in stillness, give your body the luxury of experiencing stillness for two to three minutes, and it will really help to reset your nervous system. Come onto your backs for this one. So I'm just going to roll to one side. I'm actually going to keep that bolster closed and put it under my head as the pillow. So I'm going to bring the knees up into my into towards my chest and my hips are stacked one on top of each other and my arms are out in a cat or, or sorry in a crocodile position with the arms now just getting your head cozy closing your eyes you're going to sweep that top arm overhead so it's going to draw a rainbow shape over your head and then you're going to draw it wide in a big circle down by your hip and back 
You're gonna do this like 10 or 20 times. You're gonna open the upper body, upper back actually, as that arm comes back behind you. So with your eyes closed, you're gonna just trace that outline of the circle really slow, easy and gentle. Just as many times as you want. The key is to resist rushing through it, especially if you rushed through your day You've been trained to rush and it's really hard to slow the body down, but it's really going to provide great, great benefits to slow the body down, getting ready for a peaceful sleep. Okay, you're going to then turn to the other side and do as many circles on the other side. The last one we're going to do is legs up the wall with a strap. So you're going to inch your way over to your wall. You're going to take your strap around your shin. So it's going to come to the fleshy part of your calves below your, the back of your knees. So you're just going to cinch it nice and tight without cutting into your body and get it situated here. Then you're going to come into a fetal position. So in a fetal position on the floor, you want both butt cheeks to be flat against the wall. Do not roll up unless both butt cheeks are flat. Once they're flat against the wall, then you can go ahead and roll yourself up and get your legs nice and flat. But if you don't have both butt cheeks flat, you'll be too far away from the wall. You're just going to, it's going to be annoying to try to inch your way closer to the wall. So adjust that strap again if you need to. And I set my uh, timer on my phone for about three to five minutes with some music playing. Then once I'm ready to come out, I'm just going to bend my knees. I'm going to roll back into that fetal position. And I'm actually going to stay here with my legs outstretched so that the blood can rush back into my feet and legs. You can release that strap. Okay, so those are some of the key elements of a very soothing evening ritual that you can create for yourself. Because guess what? You're worthy of it. You deserve it. And you're going to fall asleep easier and stay asleep longer if you actually have a bedtime routine. If you're the type of person that has a hard time falling asleep and wakes up after 2 a.m., guess what? According to Ayurveda, it is because you're going to bed. You're going to bed with a full mind. Your mind is too busy. And so you might actually, you might actually have an okay time falling asleep, but you wake up after 2 a.m. and it's that time that the vata ayurvedic mind the vata is very um is very busy is very airy busy and that side of ayurveda tells us that we need to your body is telling you you have to unwind more before bedtime you have to write down your thoughts you have to do a soothing evening practice so that you'll have a better chance of having a restful rather than a restless so I hope that's helped you try those things tonight. You can do each pose for like one minute each. You can do each pose for five minutes each. You do have time because all it takes is five minutes in the evening. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.